This is the DEFCON Warning System Radiation Report for 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Friday, March 18th, 2011. A new power line is being established to the Fukushima plant in the hopes of restarting the cooling systems. It is hoped that the work will be finished by Saturday, although it isn't known whether the cooling systems themselves have suffered damage or not. Experts complain that Japan has not been forthcoming about the seriousness of the situation. Suspicious statements have been made by officials, including even from the International Atomic Energy Agency which has stated that there has been no quote significant and quote worsening of the situation, while radiation readings in Tokyo have increased, but only slightly. Due to the lack of information coming out of Japan, radiation charts, provided by the DEFCON warning system are now mostly out of date, though we will continue to post them, until new data has been received so that those in affected areas can be aware that there is radiation to be aware about. Radiation from the stricken plant has now been detected in the United States, however, as expected, the radiation has decayed and dispersed, representing no health threat to the United States at this time. We repeat, there is no health threat at this time. At this time, the DEFCON warning system does not foresee any of this radiation reaching the United States, however the situation lacks clear data. We will continue to monitor the situation and report as necessary. The DEFCON warning system is a private enterprise which monitors world events and assesses nuclear threats against the United States by national entities. The DEFCON warning system will give radiation readings for areas that are reported to it. Your readings will vary. This system serves the Kettle Falls area of Northeast Washington. Official news sources will have radiation readings for your area. For immediate updates, go to www.defconwarningsystem.com. Breaking news and important information can be found on the DEFCON Warning System message board. You may also subscribe to the YouTube channel DEFCON Warning System, however YouTube updates may be delayed by several hours due to server load. Due to the sporadic nature of information coming out of affected areas, the next update will be made when new information is available. This concludes this broadcast of the DEFCON Warning System.